putting your oboe together. First of all, pick up the bell and you put it in your right hand. There's a little key there on most oboes. If you have a junior oboe, that won't be there, so you don't need to worry. But if you have got that key, put your right hand thumb on the key, press the key so it lifts this up. So you're holding that just like that. Then pick up the middle joint. Hold it so that your hand is underneath that thumb rest, if you can see what I'm doing there. And then your fingers just wrap around the keys. What we're avoiding is these keys here and these ones here. We mustn't press those while we push and twist the oboe together. So you've got your thumb on there, your hand round that joint like that. Then we put them together, push and twist, gently pushing and twisting until we can line up these two bits. All right, at the moment they're not lined up. So I'll line them up. There we go. You've probably only got one link on your oboe or nothing at all if you've got a junior oboe. If you have got a link, try and get it nice in a straight line. Then we move the right hand over the top of the two joints. So where we just joined it, you're going to put your hand around there, take your hand off that one and pick up the top joint in exactly the same way. So hand goes under there and then wraps around. So you're pressing these keys here, but avoiding the ones that stick out. All right, then we put the two joints together. Now, you've got all these keys here and this one here, which might look a bit different on your oboe. We've got to keep them away from each other. Otherwise, there'll be a horrible crash of metal and lots of bent bits of oboe. So we push and twist. Again, keeping the keys away from each other until the oboe's together. Then you might have a link on your oboe, like I've got a link there. As you can see, that isn't in line at the moment. So we need to line that up. If you haven't got a link, I'll show you in a minute what you need to line up. But I'll just twist that and get it nice and in line. So you can see now it's in line. If you haven't got that link, what you need to be looking out for are these two bobbles here. Once you've got those in line and there's no gap between the joints, then the oboe is together. Well done.